Hello dear YouTuber friends and I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. Have you noticed something happening to my Microsoft Flight Sim Water? This is all due to something called Sim FX by Parallel 42. It gives you things like downwash effects on water and dirt. And I'm going to be showing you some of that in this video and even heat blur exhaust effects. And in the environment, you get contrails, live auroras, and shooting stars. I'm going to be trying to capture some of those for you. This is available currently for PC Microsoft Flight Sim. Apparently soon coming to the marketplace for both Xbox and PC pilots. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick review of Sim FX. Let you know my findings on it. And at the end of the video end of the video I'll give you my conclusion and overall thoughts on this product. I'm enjoying it so far. Let's not dilly dally. Let's get on with this video. Okay, so I'm set up in my Bell Chopper around the Great Lakes. So this is a Lake District in the UK. Something we did a live stream on recently. I'll have to link that down below. You can probably see. Now, Sim FX apparently gives you dirt effects. You can see some of that sort of dirt flying, flying up in the air there as my blades turn around, which is a nice effect. Let me just quickly go over where you can get it. I'll put a link down below to Parallels 42 website where you can purchase this on PC at the moment. If you go and look at that, it will say that it's coming soon or it's pending marketplace for both Xbox and PC. So hopefully, let's hope that's not going to be too long. When you do buy and download it, I'm going to show you something on screen. You actually... It's a zip file. You unzip it and put that straight into your community folder. So there you go. If you want more information, pause that. I'll just follow the link. You have to buy it first, I think, and then it'll show you how to install it. But yeah, you can just pause that part and it shows you how it installs. Let's take that off screen. When you do install it, you'll get a new icon in your toolbar called SimFX. Or if you're using Flow, like I do, you can add it to your Flow wheel. And there you go, I'll just click it and open it. And it will give you things like a uh, heat blur. Down wash on dirt, which we have now. Let's put it on extreme. See what happens there. Not a particular... Oh yeah, there's a lot of dust flying up in here. <laughs> oh, that's great. That is going to be fantastic in a desert or dirt, a dirt track or somewhere, isn't it? So there you go, let's just get back to those options. So once you've installed it, you get that little icon either up top there, or like I showed you, on the Flow tuba. I'll put a video down for Flow uh, in the description as well. And you get things like downwash on water. I've put the wave size large. Let's make the downwash on water just to see what it can do. What do you, ha you have? Low, medium, dy dynamic. We'll keep it on dynamic. And we'll put water size. Can we have very large? Let's just see what this will do. There's some water yonder. But as you can see at the moment, that dirt wash where I am. Let's just take off. Now, I've got to remember where this water is. I think it's just beside me here. Oh, yeah. And it does give you a nice effect, doesn't it? This is sort of not so dirty. So you perhaps wouldn't want this on extreme because there wouldn't be that much dirt around. I've just done it to see what the effects are like. And I think there's a lake just yonder here so we'll go and fly over the water and hover over the water I won't put any trim I've got the assisted HUD there that's in the assistant options to get the assisted HUD so you can see my compass and what my trims doing down below there assistant options it's the bottom menu uh, maybe I could just show you that a little bit later but I've done a video on that you know what? Let's be complete here. Assistant options to get that HUD showing. And it's, yeah, cockpit cam minimal. There we go. 
Just because I knew I was going to get questions on that if I didn't show it. Oh, 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 what am I doing? Did I pull my throttle back? I must have. So let's just push the nose forward. We'll just get over the water part here. Over the lake, rather. Um, we'll do a little bit of a hover. And then reduce our altitude to see the effects. Anywhere we'll do. There we go. Listen. Go easy. So there we go. Better get back in the chopper just to control it. If I go this way, it'll be easier. There we go. Now I can just reduce my altitude. Now we can pop outside to see the effects as we come down. Let's do that a bit quicker. I will show you absolutely everything this can do, because that will spoil the, some of the surprises for you, wouldn't it? But I'll show you a few things, and then you can decide for yourself. So there we go. Okay, not too quick. I'm going to land on the water. Oh, okay. Well, ignore I just did that. I wasn't controlling my throttle. But there you go. I've got the waves on extreme and the water effects on extreme there. And let's just show you the difference as I'm hovering above the water. So let me just make sure... I'm not descend. I'm climbing slightly there. Let's pull my throttle back a little bit. I'm using the verbal set, which I'll also link down below for you in the description. Come on, Hoddison, don't make a, a pig's ear of this. Uh, that will do roughly. Okay, let's change those water effects. So I'll open a SimFX menu. So it's just to give you an idea of this, what it can do. Downwash on water. We'll go large. And we'll go realistic there. And then descending. Am I descending? No, now I'm hovering. Okay, a little bit back on the throttle just so I get down closer. And I do mean a little bit. There you go, you get some nice effects and you can play around with those if you don't want large waves. Or you want different types of waves on the water. Let's just see. So we'll go to water. We can go, I don't know, high. Subtle, there we go. For the downwash on water. Now I prefer that on realistic. Water size, medium. So I'm just playing around with this myself as well. I've only had it for a past hour or so and I've just been playing around with different effects so it's almost like a first impressions isn't it there we go so as you get closer to the water there oh you get some nice effects don't you so there you go it just adds a little bit more realism as the downwash of the rotors hit the water there of course you're going to get waves and it will be interesting to see how this performs on uh, Xbox I'm getting no frame issues at all fps issues at all it see feels exactly the same and i do believe it's made with that intention that you're not going to get any sort of fps struggles uh flying over a desert or something will be quite interesting wouldn't it so there you go there's some of the effects with helicopters just to give you an idea as a hover just above am i going to land on that water again as i hover just above Perfect. <laughs> the water there. Okay, let's show you a different effect. And there you go, friends. Just to show you what else Sim FX can do, we've got an aurora around us. Look at that. Isn't that brilliant? Now, this is actually, I'm in the TBM 850, and I want to show you a couple more things in this aircraft as well. There you go. We've got the aurora. This is quite straightforward to do to get the Aurora showing. You just bring up the Sim FX menu. Like I said, it's either on top there. It should be on your toolbar if you've installed it. I've got it on my Flow toolbar. Go to the environment. And where it's got the Auroras, you can actually have it on real time. Now, on the link I've put in the description where you buy Sim FX, if you scroll down that page, you've got a, a live Aurora tracker. I'm flying around... Australia where there's meant to be one at the moment but it could be anywhere and I couldn't find it well it's a nice effect in the background now couldn't find it so if you can't do that and you want to see one just go to SimFX environment 
not very realistic, but you can have them on, as always, realistic extreme. <laughs> Let's just see. So there you go. It's just one of the nice touches, isn't it? Oh, look at that. And I don't want to show you absolutely everything, but let's open that SimFX menu again, because it's good. I, when people show you everything it can do, I think it spoils part of the surprise, especially if you're looking forward to it on Xbox. I know a lot of Xbox pilots are. But in user aircraft, as you can see at the very top here, CBM 850 enabled, you've got things like engines. So it's different in aircraft than helicopters. Something I hadn't realised. Thrust on rain. It's going to be a lot of fun trying these things out. There's a lot you can try here. Skid marks. My goodness. Touchdown smoke. Water landings. Wheels on dirt. Yeah. It's going to be quite interesting to try all this out. So if you, as you load in an aircraft, you get things like contrails as well. Can we overall effect low, medium? I don't think we're going to... We're, gonna, we're not going to get contrails in a TBM, I don't believe. But, I can try that. Let's just go back, just to quickly see. I don't think the CBM has controls, because it's not that type of aircraft to show them. No, it doesn't. So there you go. If you was in an airline, you, you'll see the controls. You can play around with them. Let's just set the setting, the time, back to night time. Uh, did I turn off? No, I didn't. So there you go. That's just one of the other effects that comes along in this package. And those other effects that I showed you before, which I'm going to be interested in now playing around with. And again, I don't want to spoil the surprise. I can show you every single one of these. It's going to make the video ultra long. And it's going to spoil it for a few people. If it's anything... Oh, look at that. If it's anything like... You get a little picture there to the side as well. If it's anything like the helicopter effects, this could be quite special indeed. So there you go, folks. What I'll do now, I'll take you to my conclusion and recommendations. Okay, so in true Hoddison fashion, it's not the end of the video. It's not the conclusion. I think people want to see more, don't you? If you're going to base your buying opinions on this, you want to see a bit more of what it can do. So I'm in the 146 Professional at Manchester in live weather. <laughs> I was looking for somewhere wet to try this part, wet and stormy. Wouldn't you know, Manchester has delivered. Let me bring up the SimFX menu, because there's something I want to talk about. As I switched between aircraft, see that circle that was just there before? As I switched between helicopters, TBM 850, and now the Just Flight 146300 variant, that circle would come up and this wouldn't populate. My goodness, Manchester sounds bad at the moment. You wouldn't get all these options. I would have to restart the sim to get these options up. I'm assuming it's because it's a day one release. There's been no patch as yet. Probably needs a little patch, so just be aware that of that, I want to report everything that I'm finding. I've got a few uh, options on engine pollution, heat blur. I want to show you a bit of that. That can look heat blur miscellaneous. What's that? Oh, let's put these, let's turn these up, shall we? <laughs> uh, thrust on rain, skid marks, uh, wheels on rain, and ground effects wash. So I've just been messing around with a few of these options. Uh, I'm still using the Verpal. I shouldn't be using my Verpal in the 146 Professional. Oh, that heat blur is fun. Look at that for heat blur. Well, let's just keep an eye. Let me maybe just I'll just use the mouse for this part just to see some of these wash effects or the wheels on rain effects. So I'm going full thrust in external mode. That's another no no. I can't hear my uh, co pilot call outs. I'll stay on the runway for as long as I feel. You can see some of those wash effects and even skid mark. There you go, skid marks effects there. You're getting a whole load of effects there, and you can play around with these. Uh, do you want to take off 146? I feel you do. Oh, goodness, look at that. Okay, that's more to do with the weather, but... Oh. There you go. I'm enjoying these effects. I'm going to enjoy flying in live weather. Different parts of the world in my 146, as I do anyway. With this SimFX on... Trying to get more heat blur effects for you there. 
They are there. Pull out a bit. Let's just go oh, there. There we go. <laughs> I've got them at extreme, so you may not want them as extreme as this. My aircraft's going back down to Earth. Yeah, not good to fly with the Verpal setup. You do definitely want to yoke with the 146. Anyway, let me take you to my recommendations and conclusion. Okay, conclusions, recommendations, and all that jazz. Do I recommend this? Well, listen, it's good fun to explore. Like I said, I've not had it for long myself, but I'm having fun exploring. Seems the big part, the most attractive part for me, is in the helicopters to see the different effects around the world. So if you've got dusty areas especially, and put all those effects on, on realistic or whatever minimum, just to see how everything changes, tailor it to your taste, it can be quite good fun. The only big caveat for me, it's that it's on sale for £25 currently. I don't see that changing that much in the near future, so when it comes on the marketplace as well. For me, £25 is a little bit too much for what we're getting. I actually hesitated in buying it. I wanted it since I've heard of it, SimFX, and I thought it would be available for £15 to £20. At £25, I was hesitant, but then I thought, well, listen, I want to make a review of it, and I want to see what it actually does. For the mass market, I just wonder if that's going to be a little bit too high a price. 15 to 20 pound would have been absolutely perfect but it's in the eye of the beholder isn't it if you want more realism when you're flying over water i mean that does look pretty good and like i said it's not affecting my frames whatsoever yeah it'll be interesting now to take my chopper all over the world to see the different effects in different places and of course you've got things like the auroras and shooting stars and the contrails and heat blur that you can play around with it's really going to be in the eye of the beholder with this one but do let me know your thoughts down below give the video a like if you've enjoyed it subscribe for more and i'll see you soon